Hey guys, today I have my Bible, and I'm going to be reading about Lazarus. Now, some of you might know about Lazarus, but not know, not recognize the name, but you probably know the story. So, I'm going to read the story today. My Bible here. The Death of Lazarus. So, this is John 11. Now a man named Lazarus was sick. He was from Bethany. He is from Bethany, the village of the village of Mary and her sister Martha. This Mary, this Mary, this Mary, whose brother Lazarus now lay sick, was the same one who poured perfume on the Lord and wiped his feet with her hair. So the sister so the sisters sent word to Jesus, "Lord, the one you love is sick." When, when he heard this, Jesus said, This sickness will not end in death. No, it is for God's glory, so that God's Son may be glory, glorified through it. Now Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus. So when he heard that Lazarus was sick, he st stayed where, where he was to, he stayed where he was for two more days. And then he said to his disciples, Let us go back to Ju Judea. But Rabbi, they said, A short while ago, the Jews, Jews there tried to stone you, and yet you are going back? Jesus answered, Are there not twelve hours of daylight? Anyone who walks in the daytime will not stumble, for they see by, the, by this world's light. It is when a person walks at night that they stumble, for they have no light. After he said this, he went on to tell them, Our friend Lazarus has fallen asleep, but I am going there to wake him up. His disciples replied, Lord, if he sleeps, he will get better. Jesus has been, had been speaking of his death, but his disciples thought he meant neutral sleep. So then he told them plainly, Lazarus is dead, and for your sake I am glad I was not there, so that you may believe. But let us go to him. Then Thomas, also known as Didymus, Didymus said to the rest of the disciples, Let us also go, go, that we may die with him. Jesus comfort. Now this is, um, so on his arrival, Jesus found that Lazarus had already been in the tomb for four days. Now Bethany was less than two miles, now, now Bethany was less than two miles from Jerusalem. And many Jews had come to Martha and Mary to comfort them. Oh my goodness, I just almost dropped my Bible. Oh boy. To Martha and Mary to comfort them and the loss of their brother. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went out to meet them, to meet him. But Mary stayed at home. Lord, Martha says to Jesus, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But I know that, that even now God will give you whatever you ask, Jesus said to her. Jesus said to her, your brother will rise again. Martha answered, I know he will rise again in, resur in the resurrection at the last day, Jesus said to her. I am the resurrection. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live, even though they die. And whoever lives by believing in me will never die. Do you believe this? Yes, Lord, she replied. I believe that you are the Messiah, the Son of God who is to come into the world. After she said this, she went back and called her sister Mary aside. The teacher is here, she said, and asking for you. When Mary heard this, she got up quickly and went to him. Now Jesus had not yet entered the village, but was still at the place where Martha had met him. When the Jews, who had been, who had been with Mary in the house comforting her, noticed how quickly she got up and went out, they followed her, supposing she was going to the tomb to mourn there. 
When Mary reached the place where Jesus was and saw him, she fell at she fell at his feet and said, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. When Jesus saw her weeping, and the Jews who had come along with her also weeping, she was deeply moved in spirit in spirit with her also weeping. He was deeply moved in spirit and tro and troubled. Where have you laid him? he asked. Come and see, Lord, they replied. Jesus wept. Then the Jews said, See how he see how he loved him? But some of them said, Could could not he who opened the eyes of the blind man had kept have kept this man from dying? Jesus raised oh Jesus, once more deeply moved, came to the tomb. It was a cave with a stone laid laid across the entrance. Take away the stone, he said. But Lord, said Martha, the sister of the dead man, by this time there is a bad odor, for he has been been there for four days. She's worried about a bad odor. It's a little tiny bit funny. Bad odor. <laughs> for he has been there for four days. Then Jesus said, Did I not tell you that if you believe, you will see the glory of God? So they took away the stone. Then Jesus looked up and said, Father, I thank you that you have heard me. I knew that I knew that you always hear me, but I said this for the benefit of the people standing here, that they may believe what you sent that you sent me. When he had said this, Jesus called called in a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. The dead man came out, his hands and feet wrapped with stip, strips of linen and cloth around his face. Jesus said to them, said to them, take off the grave clothes, take off the grave clothes, and let them go. Therefore, many of the Jews who had come to visit Mary, and had seen what Jesus did, believed in him. But some of them went to Pharisees and told what Jesus had done. So, that's the end of the story of Lazarus. So Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead. So I think that's a pretty powerful story that Jesus can raise people from the dead.